Hey, well, good morning, Catalina Fields Church. Pastor John Stone here. I know I have the same shirt on from last week. It's actually like just 30 seconds after I did the first devotion. It's a week apart. I'm going to be speaking at a conference in Florida. So I'm recording these back to back. So yeah, I have the same shirt on. I noticed that. We come to the end of Acts. Uh, I don't know where we'll go next. Uh, Rob Penley, our associate pastor, will do next week's Tuesday devotion. Then I'll be right back at it. Because I, after I speak in Florida, we'll be back for a few days. And then we're going on vacation, Russ and I, with our girls. And I will not be doing that devotion. But after Paul had begin to had spoken to the Jews about the kingdom of God and, and Jesus, it says some, of, some were convinced by what he said, but others would not believe. They disagreed among themselves and began to leave after Paul had made his final statement. And then Paul said, The Holy Spirit spoke the truth to your ancestors when he said to Isaiah the prophet, Go to this people and say, You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this people's hearts has become callous. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. Therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will listen. For two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus with all boldness and without hindrance, which is a great, I mean, that's a great summation of Acts, isn't it? He proclaimed the kingdom of God. It's a great summation of the Old Testament. It and he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ, that he is the only name by which anyone in the Old or New Testament could be saved. But what, what are we to make of this passage today, the final one in, in Acts? In some ways, what Acts is doing is transitioning, is transitioning us from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Maybe said better, transitioning us from the Gospels to the Epistles. Because we begin with the ascension of Jesus and the, and the Holy Spirit being sent down. And we end with Paul in Rome, in the center of the pagan world, saying that because the Jews have rejected the salvation that God prepared for them and sent to them, and which came through them, since they have rejected that, he is sending his salvation to the Gentiles. And really, the whole rest of the New Testament, from Romans to Revelation, talks about how that salvation was going forth to all the different places, whether it be to Rome, or whether it be to Corinth, or to Galatians, or to Thessalonica, we see that that salvation being proclaimed. But what's interesting, too, is that Paul here quotes a passage that Jesus often quoted to both the disciples and to those who would not listen to him. Where in Isaiah it says, Go to this people and say, You will be ever hearing but never understanding. They will hear the words, but they won't understand them. You will be ever seeing. They will see Jesus, but they will not understand who he is. Because their hearts have become callous, and they hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. What is it that the Jews have rejected? They've rejected the person and the work of Jesus Christ. God sent his own son in the form of a Jewish man to his people, the Jews, and they have rejected it. They would not turn from their customs. They would not turn from the man-made religion that they had. They would not turn from works to grace. They would not recognize that the sacrifices must end and never be reinstituted, but that they needed to look to Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, and believe in him. And because they've rejected that, salvation is now sent to the Gentiles. And the thing is, they actually physically saw God. They saw God in the flesh and Jesus, and they heard him preach, and yet even though they saw him, even though they saw him raise the dead, even though they saw him cure all diseases, even though they saw him cast out demons, even though they saw demons scream, leave us alone, even though they saw it and heard it, they would not let their hearts be softened. They trusted in themselves and not in God and not in his word. That's the irony in their desire to protect God's word they missed God's word in the person of Jesus. So here's a question for today. What is it that's keeping you from really believing God in his word? What is it in your life that's keep, that you're trusting in? Your finances, your reputation, your children, your vacation homes, 
the job you have, your, your gifts, your good looks, your eloquence. What are you trusting in that keeps you from saying, all of that is vanity if I don't completely and utterly trust and follow Jesus and believe his word? What is it for you? Don't be the one who sees and hears but can't see and hear. But be the one who sees and hears and becomes healed. And the only way to be healed is in the person and work of Jesus. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness, without hindrance. Friends, this is a little bit longer today, but we started these devotions way back in, when COVID started, way back in uh, probably March or April of 2020 and here we are in July of 2021 and we've just finished Acts. I can't remember if I started in Acts to be honest with you. I have to go back and look but we've gotten through Acts. This has been fun. Uh, don't know whether I'm going yet. I was talking to Rob Penley about the next book. Might do Romans, might do 2 Corinthians, probably 2 Corinthians because we're not going to continue with 2 Corinthians in the on Sunday because that would be too long a time in the town of Corinth but not too long a time in God's word. So Man, it's been fun, and Acts has been beautiful. Acts is this, Jesus Christ will win, and we should trust and proclaim him. Good to be with you this week. Look forward to seeing you possibly Sunday, whether in person or online, or along the highways and byways. You have a great week. We'll see you soon.